Don't you love it when Scott comes back from going to school and says, this <laughs> class was so smart. And yeah. I always think, who stumped him? He's right. not telling us exactly, Anyone? but he probably got stumped. Well, I've had to do my research, well, you know, <laughs> digging yeah. in, right? And, and questions about the atmosphere, and of course, our weather comes in the lower atmosphere mostly, but if you go to the upper atmosphere, uh, we see maybe some space weather going on, and the question was, uh, well, it's about the Northern Lights. Here it is. My name is Joey. I go to Central Elementary, and what causes the Northern Lights? All right, Joey, what causes the northern lights? This photo behind me, taken in 2012 in the summer uh, over the skies of Caldwell. Right here, the northern lights. Right here, you can see it. Uh, and, of course, in photos, they'll tend to look a little bit more impressive than in person because of the photo. You're just leaving the exposure open, and the light is uh, just being put on the film there, and that's making it just kind of impressive, make it a little bit brighter. But if you have, if you've not seen the Northern Lights before and you get a chance to see them, it is quite impressive. They just kind of dance across the sky. And basically, it's the solar wind, the energy from the sun that is just racing through the atmosphere. It hits the Earth, and the Earth has uh, a North Pole and a South Pole, like a magnet. And the Basically, the energy from the sun will go into the poles, and then it will come down from north to south or from south to north. That's why we typically see northern lights way up in the northern latitudes, but sometimes right here uh, in the Treasure Valley. Here's a picture from way up north as well. This is more common. The colors here all depend on the gases that the energy from the sun is interacting with. And so the greens and the yellows are typically from the ions, the particles coming in, uh, interacting with oxygen tends to cause the green. And I, I forgot to research this, but I believe the reds are from the nitrogen in the atmosphere. And that's what I remember seeing, and that's what we saw over Caldwell there. Uh, but it's just amazing to see the shapes here, and you look, and it tends to kind of dance across the sky here. So it all depends on, the colors depend on what gases we're uh, uh, going against, uh, what it's interacting with. And it will tend to come into the northern latitudes, but sometimes it will come all the way down. There are reports of the northern lights as far south as Brownsville, Texas, in the southern part of Texas. So when the sun has an abnormally large solar flare, it sends out that extra burst of energy and that's when we typically start to get more of these northern lights showing up and they can really fill the skies i haven't seen this before though i did see green once in connecticut back in the 80s late 80s and then the reds here uh sometime in november of about 93 or 94 i remember driving down the road and thinking it was nighttime, and I, I thought it was a red car next to me, and I thought, well, that's, why is that reflecting off? And I looked out my window, and I just saw a lot of red, and that was in the around the city lights of Meridian. So, guys, it's pretty impressive. It happens right here in Idaho as well, and if we have that chance of that coming in, we'll keep you updated on that. But the northern lights, very, very impressive. If I saw a green sky like that... Yeah, but that was the the aliens were coming. Aliens tornado. are coming down to get us. <laughs> and I'm thinking if Scott's telling stories about the 80s to kids right now, they're like, huh? So Interesting he is how old. it works, though. Well, somebody in the class asked me today, how old are you? And they said, I said, how old do you think I am? Said, <laughs> oh, mistake. 21. I said, you're really close. How did you know? <laughs> I'm really close. <laughs> wow. That. And they also always ask, do you have a dog? Do you have a pet? <laughs> yeah. Which I love, too. <laughs> That's my favorite two questions. Good questions. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> well, it has been.